In today's video, I'll be giving you guys a tutorial of the VN VlogNow video editing app. I'll be covering all the basics so that way when you finish this video, you can get started editing right away. If you're new to the channel, I show you guys how to make videos on your smartphone so you can grow an audience, help others, and make money doing what you love. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe and let's jump in to this tutorial. Now I'll be doing this tutorial from my iPad, but don't worry if you're on Android or an iPhone, it'll be the exact same tutorial. Just allows me to hook a mouse up so you guys can see what I'm clicking on. So to get started, what we're going to do is click the plus button down here, which is going to allow us to click new project. Then we can have access to all our footage. Uh, what I'm going to do is instead of clicking on recents, I actually have an album labeled video editing. I'm going to go down to, there it is. And here's the footage that I want to add. So I'm just going to check mark each one and that will add them. And then I can just click the arrow and it's going to add it to our timeline. And what I like to do is use my fingers and I'm going to pinch to zoom out. And then I can use my finger to scroll and I can see all my videos in the timeline. Now, if I wanted to add more clips, all I would have to do is just click here and that'll bring us right back in where we can add more videos or pictures. Uh, you can actually switch between videos and pictures this way. Uh, but I'm just going to click the X button because I don't need to add any more footage. If you want to rearrange your clips, all you have to do is hold down on the clip. It'll bring you into this where you can slide your clip around with your finger anywhere you want, let go, and you can reposition it. So if we wanted this one in the back, just hold down with our finger, move it to the back, let go, and there we go. We've rearranged our clips. If you want to trim your videos, all you have to do is select the video and there's two different ways you can do it. You can either use your finger and just trim along the sides here with your finger by grabbing either end of the clip and just moving it with your finger. I, however, find this to be very inaccurate. Sometimes my finger slips and I trim in the wrong spot. So what I think is better is to just scroll to the spot where you want to trim, like so. And then what I like to do is click the split button, which is right here. So I'll just click that. And what that does is it cuts the clip into two separate clips. So there's one, and there's that part that we wanted to remove, and then I just click delete. And the reason why I like doing it this way is, let's say I want to remove something in the middle of the video. What I can do is then scroll to the spot where I want the part to be removed. I can click the split button, scroll to the spot where I want it to end up start playing again, click split again, and then I can just delete the middle and the middle's removed. So I much prefer the split and delete option for trimming clips because it's more accurate, it's more efficient. I just think it's better to do it that way than to use your finger on the side. Now, if for some reason we made a mistake and we actually deleted too much and we want it back, there's actually a back button right here and we can click that and it'll reverse any actions that we did, uh, which it brought back all the clips that we deleted. So handy button right there where you can reverse any mistakes that you make. If you want to add transitions in between your videos, uh, all you have to do is in between two clips, just click the plus button and it'll put us into the transition section here. You can actually go through some of these transitions. You can choose the duration of the transition. And you can also, there's a lot of cool effects here like these push ones, uh, horizontal, where it'll slide like that. You know, you can go through and explore a lot of those transitions, uh, but that is how you access them. If you want to add music to your videos, you just have to click the tap to add music button right there. And you have access to your music, sound effects, or if you want to do a voiceover, you can click that there. Uh, if you want to add text to your videos, you just click this next one here, tap to add subtitle. So we'll click on that and we have access to a few different titles. Uh, so we can click on the standard one. We can input our info right there. And then what we can do is actually click here and we can change the style if we want. We can even move it with our finger, increase the size. There we go. We can then go over to our font and we can change the font of our text like so. We can go over to color and we could choose one of these preset colors if we wanted or if we really want to just customize it ourselves, we can do that as well down here. 
and apply different borders, backgrounds, etc. Uh, but sometimes it's just nice to have those custom presets and click on them. Uh, and then over here is the position so you can center it, uh, etc. Uh, so we can click the check mark there. Um, and while we're selected here, there is the option for keyframes. Uh, we're not going to get super detailed into keyframes in this video. I actually have an advanced editing tips in VN video where I get into keyframes, green screen, etc. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description and it'll also be at the end of this video. Uh, so if you're interested in learning some more advanced tips, you can check out that video. Uh, but we will take a look at this motion button. Uh, for some, it might look at might be a transition button, but we're gonna click on motion. And what that's gonna allow us to do is apply transitions to our text. So if we want our text to fade in, or we want to spin in, maybe for the out animation, we want it to just slide down. We could click check. And now when our text will actually have transitions when we click play. So that's a really cool feature that you can actually do. If you wanna add photos or even videos over the top of your current video, you could click this button here and you can actually import videos or photos over the top. So for example, we could do this Instagram photo. There we go. I can resize it, move it around. And now it, there is Instagram over the top of my video and you can also apply transitions and those keyframes again to the photos or videos that you put over the top for now we're just going to click delete if you want to crop in on your videos you could click the crop button here um it'll say choose an aspect ratio but this isn't the true aspect ratio of the project i'll show you that in a minute here but we'll just say 16 by 9 and then i can just pinch with my fingers and i can zoom in like so i can click the check mark and there we go. If you want to change the aspect ratio of the whole project, that's actually up here where it says original. Uh, normally, it's just going to adjust to whatever you import. So if you film videos in landscape mode for YouTube, it'll adjust. If you film TikToks or Instagram videos and you're in portrait, it'll adjust automatically. But if for some reason you want to change that, you could go over original, you could choose 16 by 9, you could choose 9 by 16, which will put it in the TikTok video. So even though it's landscape, it's in that TikTok form, but for now, I'm just gonna choose, we'll choose 16 by nine uh, because that is the YouTube standard. If you want to apply filters to your video, all you have to do is click the filter button down here. You can actually click through all these filters and see which one looks nice to you. And you can also click on this knob here and adjust how powerful the effect is gonna be. We, can, we then can also click on the adjust button here and we can also control things like our exposure, make it brighter or darker. We can make it more colorful by adjusting the saturation, uh, et cetera. You can really go through all these settings and make your videos look professional. And then when you're done, you can click the check mark. Or if you want to apply the filter to all of the clips, you can click apply to all and it'll apply all the settings to all the videos in the timeline. But for now, we're just going to click the check mark because I just want the filter on this video. And then finally, once we're done editing, we can click the export button here. We can set up our export settings either automatically or we can choose manual and adjust them there. Click, click export and then it'll save it to our photo gallery. And like I said, I actually did an advanced editing tips video within VN. So if you want to learn more about like green screen, making gaming videos, adding subscribe buttons onto your screen, I'll show you all that right here in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys over there.